This is our seed cleaning facility. First step of the process is the grain comes into a hopper up above me here. The grain then flows through a Zigaflow aspirator where we pull off the light dust and chaff. It's then fed onto a continuous Z-line conveyor that takes the grain up to our Cimbria Delta 107 super cleaner. Inside this cleaner, there's a series of 16 screen decks. This cleaner also has pre and post aspiration to remove light fines and dust. From there, the clean grain is dropped onto another Z-line conveyor and goes up to another aspirator and then into our six Merc 23 AeroCorp indents. The clean grain off of our indents is then fed onto the final conveyor, which then goes up to our CG6 color sorter for a final polishing step. All of the contaminants from the pre-cleaner and the indent are then sent outside to either our dust bag, our dust cyclone, a screenings bin, or our heavies and rock cyclone. So this is where we house the, the clean, the grain once it's been cleaned. The dirty grain that comes in from the fields is housed in our four, one of our four receiving bins. And then we use this, we use pneumatic conveyance to convey the grain and we actually move it overhead here through this pipe over the bins. This is our Hearts deholing line. So up here in the back, we have a stainless steel impact deholer. Once the grain is cracked, it is then fed onto a frequency conveyor below where we sift off the uh, fines and we scalp off the whole seed, the hearts and any holes. Those are all returned to a destoner up top. At that point, we use density separation of the destoner to extract the holes from the whole seed and hearts. The holes are then sent down this auger and packaged into 1,000 pound super sacks. From there, they go into finished packaging. The hearts and whole seed, they drop onto a second frequency conveyor on the other side. We scalp off the whole seed, send it back to the deholer to be cracked and the hearts are then sent to packaging. Behind me is our oil pressing line for our hemp seed. Above me here is a CG4 color sorter. This is the first step of our oil pressing. This ensures that there are no contaminants, no wheat, anything like that. All of our products need to be gluten free. From the color sorter, we then send the grain through some mechanical conveyance um, consisting of bucket elevators and a twin screw hopper and an auger. We send that up to a drag conveyor and then into our two Rose Downs Minimax presses. Uh, each one of those presses uh, is capable of pressing about 550 pounds of grain per hour. The oil that's extracted drops below into a crude tank below the presses. The protein cake that's extruded off the back of the presses then goes into a hammer mill and then through an air classifier where it's separated into two different grades of protein. One being up to 50% protein, the other one being around 30% protein. Once the oil has, has been uh, extracted and is in the crude tank, we then take that through a filtration process. That process starts with a pressure leaf filter. So we send the oil through the pressure leaf and back to the crude tank through a continuous loop cycle we call a clarification cycle, it lasts about 20 minutes. We use the media or the foots in the oil to clean itself. Once an operator makes a visual check and says that oil is good to proceed, they then have the prompt the computer to switch a few valves. The oil then goes through the pressure leaf filter to a five micron bag filter and then through a one micron polishing filter. And then it's held in one of our two finished holding tanks, getting ready for packaging. Once we're ready to package the oil, we send the oil a final time through two more filters consisting of 0.46 micron filters. And then it's packaged into any container from 16 ounces all the way up to 1,000 liter totes. I'm Patrick Rose. I'm the Director of Operations for IND Hemp here in Fort Bend, Montana.